Hi all, it's Terhi here again. As I said last week, I'm back here this week with a mixed media layout, but now as you see the layout, I guess you are like, what? There's nothing mixed media on the page. page. What is he talking about? Come on. Uh, but no, there is. There really is. And I'm starting to lay out with gathering all my sublies and most of them are Pink Paisley or my heart collection. Uh, I'm using March hip kits and starting with the color kit by adding some shimmers texture paste pastes through the stencil and cleaning the stencil between the colors because I don't want any orange uh, paste on my layout. Uh, first I added the pink one and then I'm adding the yellow one. This paste is really nice. It's really smooth and it uh, leaves the result really matte. So I, I really like it, like it. And once it's completely dry, I'm starting to cut some one inch or two inch sized paper pieces of the stencil work. Um, I'm going to do some kind of puzzle work to the white cardstock, um, not with any any specific uh, pattern, but some kind of uh, free rhythm uh, background work with these pieces. Uh, I'm clearly <laughs> in the position of my life that I want just cut papers and add them with 3D foam to white cardstock and then I'm really really happy but as I said last week uh, scrapbooking styles are always changing and I'm pretty sure this cutting and adding <laughs> style is moving forward in just few weeks so keep on there I will do something else in just few weeks uh, anyway I'm cutting these uh, papers. I'm also cutting this lovely Oh My Heart paper, which was in our March paper kit. Um, I decided to to add them all with 3D foam because I want to have some kind of uh, shadow behind each of them. It gives lots of dimension for the page and lots of interest for the page and as you see i'm not doing any specific pattern just adding them here and there and as i felt there wasn't enough the pink one i'm adding some more so there is no rules in this one i just want to play with the papers this playing with the papers idea goes perfectly together with the photograph. Uh, there's my good friend's daughter in the picture, who is really a uh, happy girl, happy two-year-old girl, really cheerful and always smiling and, you know, such a girl that you would always like to see when you see a girl playing outside on the playground or something. Uh, she's really, really full of life. Let's say it like that. She's really full of life and she's really playful. So that's why I really wanted to do this layout uh, like this with lots of girly stuff like flowers and pink papers. And uh, the title is Hey Sugar, which is going perfectly to her her nature because she's so sweet and on the photograph she was climbing up to the chair for the first time next to their family kitten so she was really happy about it again <laughs> she's always happy so so i guess this this playful background idea goes perfectly together with this photograph. Uh, I'm giving this layout for my friend as, uh, of course, I don't need to kind of uh, capture those moments to my my life albums, my scrapbook, scrapbook albums. So I'm doing this layout for my friend. Um, first, I added to 3D foam and then I decided to add some 
something going on on the background first by adding some uh, circles with the pencil and now just taking the, the pieces and adding them here and there. Once I'm happy with the background, I'm adding two kind of thread on top. Uh, first I'm adding some uh, few very loose loops of this a little thicker and shiny thread and then as usual I'm adding just a regular sewing thread all over the layout. Uh, this shiny uh, thread is I don't actually remember uh, who made it and where I got it but I found it from my drawer and I thought it would be gorgeous for this page because uh, most of the papers are really pastel uh, toned and really matte so and also the texture paste was really matte so this kind of shimmering thread will do the trick for this layout and now I'm adding the the paper cluster and the photograph on top. I'm also using glue for this one because I want to make sure it really sticks there and it will be because I added the glue. And then I'm decorating the page with these flowers and the title and the heart and lots of ephemera and that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I gave you some tips by using clean mixed media. Uh, Thank you for watching and I hope we'll see you again soon, really soon. <laughs> Bye!